This is a very explicit podcast. You have been warned. Hollow Duck Hype. Program complete. Enter when ready. Hi, and welcome to Hollow Deck Hype. I'm your host, Frank. And I'm Josh. Josh, when's the, uh, the first time you've seen a woman naked? When did you see your first, uh, when did you see a first man naked? <laughs> uh, probably two days ago, I caught myself <laughs> in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, well, at your house, you know, that's normal. Right. right. You just, I have robes always every... open, right? Yeah. I have broke every other mirror that I get. <laughs> Is that because you you don't want to see yourself in the mirror? I mean, <laughs> no, because I know vampires can't see themselves. Oh, okay, so they get mad. You don't want to. You don't want uh, Gary Oldman to get mad. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Our ways are not his ways. You know, <laughs> how dare we go to his house and be flaunting mirrors and shit? No, I was uh, probably about six years old. Went over to my friend's house and uh, we were going to play He Man. I remember this vividly. And uh, he had Castle Grayskull, and I was like, "Damn, this oh, kid's I had rich. it too." I was like, "This kid's rich," so <laughs> I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'm coming over to his house to play." And then uh, we got there, we opened the door, and his mom was standing there naked cooking, and I was what? just like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, it was really weird, and I didn't know what to do. But then he was just like, "Come back to my room and let's play." I was like, "All right." So Guess it's normal just... in his house. Yeah, I just walked by her, but I kind of, like, gave her a a once-over, you know? (laughs) At six. You gave her a once-over at six. (laughs) Oh, yeah. And I started from the top all the way to the bottom. (laughs) I'm sure you did. And now we're here. (laughs) Yeah, sure we are. (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah, that was, I vividly remember that. It was a really weird situation. I I bet. I mean, at six years old, it's kind of weird. I mean, there are people, I mean... You know, you hear about those people that are like in nudist colonies, and they sure. uh, they like have their kids, you know, grow up like that as well. So I guess it's right. not really. I mean, I'm sure it's very rare, but you know, probably happens more often than you think. Yeah, so, there was a lot of uh, activity for young Frank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, you know what? What's that? Where can they contact us, Josh? Just tell them. <laughs> Just tell them. Our our, our uh, podcast is on Podbean, holidaykype.podbean.com, forward slash feed if you want to subscribe to the feed on the podcast catcher of your choice. We're also on Twitter at holidaykype. We're also on Facebook at facebook.com slash holidaykype. And we also have an email, holidaykype at gmail.com. And as always, you do it. You do it. You go to youtube.com slash holodeckhype and you can find us, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you know, just let it play in the background while you're taking a shit or something. Anything would help. But obviously you're not doing that, so go fucking do it. God damn it. We are on Galaxy's Child. Um, if people don't know, and this is the first time they're tuning in or, or people that have listened to us before, we are. Star Trek The Next Generation podcast that barely talks about Star Trek. And we're on Season 4, Episode 16, Galaxy's Child. Josh? Yes. Let's get this shit show on the road. I don't remember this one. Um, I thought it was that one where, but we already saw it. Remember when uh, uh, Deanna gets, there's just like a fucking space probe that goes into the Enterprise and impregnates her. <laughs> well, we already yeah. watched that one. Space Pro, so, I love those. <laughs> so uh, we're actually just, on something else. I mean, I don't even know. I just imagine Picard probably has a space baby. He has a lot of space know. babies. <laughs> space STDs. No, he doesn't space remember. He oh, doesn't yeah, that's remember. right. Yeah, he's only allowed to do anal. Yeah. Yeah. It's Frakes who has a lot of the space babies. <laughs> he's a corn char champion. <laughs> <laughs> Call back to our last episode. <laughs> I wonder if when they dock, they use a corn shower. <laughs> as lube or what? <laughs> what are we talking here? No, just as a shower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'd imagine. I wonder if stuff's more buoyant in corn shower water. <laughs> I'm sure there's got to be some sort of more lubrication and or other stuff. Um, 
when corn water than just regular water. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it has I a mean, lot of high fructose corn syrup. And, <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean. Uh, yeah, they, there's corn syrup in it, Frank. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure a dead body would float in that a lot easier than water, regular water. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> but I don't know, you know. I mean. So um, Jordy is uh, having one of his many women troubles in this uh, show. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Think. I think and, I think we speculated that, and I think it was another podcast I listened to or something like that, that Jordy, maybe because he was on Reading Rainbow at the same time. Oh, he wasn't did, allowed to. He just, no, he, well, I mean, maybe he just said, look, I don't want to be sexual in any way on this show. But the, mm. but the thing is, is they don't. He he does become sexual. He's like, I want to be on a date and I want to do this. They make him basically strike out. So I don't think that's the case. I think yeah, they're just that's... like, let's pick on Jordy and be like, he's the fucking failure when it comes to getting laid. Yeah, yeah, that's hard to say. I mean, I guess, you know, if a kid is tuning in and they're like, Mom, there's a guy from Reading Rainbow and he's trying to fuck some chick, you know, like uh, they might have hard problems. Yeah, because you know, they, hey, they that. don't fucking, they don't. They don't hide Riker's fucking anim- or just fucking <laughs> sexual progress and all. This oh thing. no, God, no. <laughs> and no, or no. and or Data when he fucks Tasha. Yeah, no, no hole in turn <laughs> for that boy. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, it's just I don't weird know. because it's like they at least. It's interesting. <clears throat> oh, sorry, Jesus, I got a little sniffle. Josh has a cold. It's a sniffle, AIDS. Frank. It's what? It's a sniffle. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's, uh, that's interesting speculation. I've never even heard that before. Yeah, but I just, I I feel like it's weird because he's trying to hook up, but he never does. So I don't know if, and this is the, I remember this is this doctor, doctor that he tries to hook up with. (laughs) And she pushes him away. She's like, (laughs) you're blind. (laughs) You can't see me anyway. (laughs) Get away from me. (laughs) I heard your sense of smell is heightened. (laughs) God, I I can't do he goes like this. He goes. He goes. It's your. You're on your menstrual menstrual cycle. <laughs> hey, <God>. Wolf moon. <laughs> oh yeah, God. He can smell that a while, a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> smells like Fisherman's Wharf. <laughs> Is that what it smells Wharf. like? Wharf <laughs> <peaks> in. Hello. <laughs> Anyone call me? I haven't been in. The, I haven't been talked about a lot lately. Oh yeah, God. We push him away. Around. Hey, we're. We'll get to it. We'll get some to Wharf two parters soon. Oh, yeah. Take your bathing suit off and get ready for it. Oh, God, my tan line's ready, dude. It's ready to get blended. <laughs> tan lines? <laughs> oh, and your bikini zone? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah, you just point to where you touched the bikini zone. <laughs> it was, where did he touch you? <laughs> God, and it's, it's the worst. Is like uh, I've been watching. I've seen, like, so Law & Order, like, SVU has been on for, like, what, like 20 years now? And, like, it seemed like I watched it in college when I was working, and then, like, now it'll be on USA Marathons. I think I've seen every fucking episode. There's probably, like, 600 of them. Jesus. Wow. All right. I don't and think And then I've they always one. ask, like, where did they touch oh, wait, you? Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a second. How did I escape this? I've never seen one, and you've seen 600. I don't know. It's Ice T's in it, and Elliot Stabler. Chris, you know Christopher Maloney? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's I great. Didn't, it's, I didn't even know Ice T was in it. Jesus. Ice T's, Ice T's actually one of the people that has been through it for since the beginning and then richard belzer he's like halfway so like the first half is the best hang on uh who who do you pick ice t or ice cube ice cube unfortunately but ice t's close i mean he's the second in the rap game or what uh i yeah i think yeah ice t's second we're talking about acting or what are we talking about yeah about acting i think he's also second second as well sorry ice t sorry sorry ice t yeah, I don't think I see he's been in that many movies. Like, what, New Jack City and... Surviving the Game. We don't forget that. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> and I will never. Don't you no, ever forget you Surviving it. the Game. You got Rub- <laughs> Rugger Howard. You got fucking uh, Charles S. Dutton. Known murderer, Charner- Charles S. Dutton. Oh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Rock, dude. Yeah. We talked about this. You don't remember. He had that show called Rock on Fox in, like, the early 90s. Who? Charles, uh... St- Charles S. Dutton. Oh, I thought you meant Ice T. I was like, shit. Nah, I don't... No, no, no. <laughs> no, and and uh, you know, I don't. But Ice Cube's done a lot of family movies, though. And I, I enjoy them. I've seen them all. Uh, I've seen all the 
are we there yet and stuff like that. Yeah, what was he in? Like, name him. Uh, we got uh, Did You Drive Home Yet? Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Are uh, yeah? Are we there yet? Are Are we yeah. done yet? Are we in the garage still? <laughs> what else was there? <laughs> Did you leave the car running in the garage? Did I just run over two people? <laughs> you know the the Doctor Cox from um, Scrubs is in the Are We Done Yet? It's a quite delightful movie, actually. Scrubs, I've never seen. You never? I've seen all Scrubs, all seasons, wow. everyone. You're something else, Dan. I consume media. <laughs> Yummy. Apparently, you're full now. <laughs> Yummy. God. I'm not like my father, though. Unfortunately, no. He's fucking. Oh. If he's there was an else. MX Master, <laughs> hey, he's he's, wa- he's, wa- he's rewatching Monk, Monk. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've maybe seen one and a half of that. I've or seen something. it. I've seen some, and I was just like, Meh, is it worth the rewatch? Ah, I, don't I don't think so. Hey, he's guy from re-watch. fucking Wings. You know? Yeah, Tony Shalhoub, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've talked about Tony. Shalhoub. <laughs> oh, we've talked about Tony Shalhoub. <laughs> We fucking talked about him, man. <laughs> I, lo- I actually really like him, but that it's it's like a quirky. It's so that he's investigating crimes, but it's like funny, you know. There's like the music is like, doo, 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 doo. yeah, and he's like wiping it's, stuff it's like, down because he's OCD, and it's just like it's like a comedy crime show, and it. I don't know. I wa- I probably watched the whole first season, and then I was I was out. Now, so. would you eat at Shaluba's Pizza <laughs> if? <laughs> Here we go. Hang on. Here's All right, a, wait, because I was, a, I was be like, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, but before you say yeah, <laughs> hang on. I've got some some oh, stipulations. Okay. He, the pizza bubbles that p- come up, he pops them with his dick. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> You're okay with that. You see him. He pulls his dick out and pops the pizza bubbles. <laughs> He's probably pretty clean, I guess. <laughs> How do you know? He's a, a hot, young actor. He's young. <laughs> I'm sure he's gotten on a ton more pussy than Jordy has. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, probably not. I mean, if he's wearing a condom, then of course he doesn't <laughs> care. No, no, hey, safe pizza pop, pizza popping. <laughs> safe pizza I'd imagine bubble after a while, like you know, one of those pizza bubbles is going to be really hot, and his dick is going to meld together, and he's not going to oh, be able yeah. to pee. You know. Yeah. So melding together your pee hole, you mean? Yeah, the name of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Perfect. melding together your pee hole. <laughs> yeah, well, that sucks. I guess. I guess don't go popping pe- don't go popping pizza bubbles with your dick. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'd imagine too. Like you'd have to have a disclaimer. Hey, welcome to Chalupa's Pizza. <laughs> First off, I and they have like a you. painting. They have this large mural on the wall of him with his dick out popping cheese bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Shaluba's finest. He's got like mozzarella ball in his hand, yeah. <laughs> but his dick out is popping a pizza bubble. So yeah, and like, he, oh, and it's torn. really it's really nonchalant because like he's wearing a chef's outfit, but it's just like open, the zippers right. open, <laughs> and you're torn. You're like this pizza's delightful, but <laughs> he's popping those bubbles with his dick. I don't know how I should feel. <laughs> Yeah. He's got like he, he's got like a sausage in his hand, like he's cut. He's got a sausage and a matzo ball. <laughs> As a nunchuck, you mean? <laughs> of course. Why not? Or a nunchuck? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> is it a is it nunchuck or nunchuck? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. But just want to throw it out there, just in case there's someone who's like, I pronounce it nunchuck. <laughs> God, you could get those when you're a kid. And they're actually really dangerous. You can hurt yourself more than you can hurt anybody else with those things. Oh, man. Here's a great, great story. And I know I was not able to record this. You're just going to have to fucking take my word for it. But we bought these nunchucks from a flea market. And they were the kind that was like a pipe in the middle, but they were like a rubber outside, you know? So that if you hit yourself, you're okay. Like you weren't fucking knocking yourself out. Yeah, but shit. it's still pretty hard, right? I it's mean, still pretty hard. Up, yeah, you can't cover right. up with rubber that much. You know. <clears throat> so I had one, and I was I was okay with them. Like I wasn't amazing or whatever. But my friend was running, and I was like, "Hey, stop!" So I threw my fucking nunchucks, and they went and wrapped around his legs, and he fucking tripped. And it was like one of the best moments of my entire life. God, you're like <laughs> Michelangelo like, from the Ninja Turtles, dude. Oh, dude, it was one in a million. It was like amazing. He was like. I think he was like, holy shit, man. How did you do that? <laughs> like, I don't know how I targeted his legs, dude. It, it was amazing. It was amazing. There was the same kid that uh, kicked me a soccer ball, and I'm sure he's not listening, but 
He kicked me a soccer ball, and I grabbed it. I was like, I'm going to kick it back to him because we're playing. And I grabbed it, and it had cat shit all over it. <laughs> <laughs> and I got cat shit all over my hands, and I went and ran to his mom. And I was like, your son got cat shit on my so, hands. Now, was this the same mom that was naked because he could have rubbed that cat shit all over or something? Oh, God, I wish it was. God. God. She was different, German. Different mom. She was into that. Oh, wait, what? Cat shit, though? God, that's gross. Ugh. Yeah, it was fucking disgusting. Cat shit stinks, man. Yeah, it was it was disgusting. Um, and she was just like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> she just thought I was some dumb kid yelling about her son. <laughs> What's that, cat shit? Get the fuck out of here. It was the same kid who I played with when I was younger. Um, then out of nowhere, I decided, well, I need to see what happens when you hit someone in the stomach as hard as you can. Great. You're one so of those I, kids, Frank, right? I was a bully for a second. Like, probably about five to ten seconds. I was like, I just fucking haul off and hit him. He started crying, and I felt terrible. <laughs> and he ran to his mom and just told her, and she came and yelled at me and my mom, and, like, you know, it was it was crazy. This doesn't sound like fun. And that's been story time with Frank. And that's been Holodeck Hype. <laughs> just ended there. <laughs> Ray Shields. They're, they, I think they... They kill I, if I, if I remember right. They kill like a a, a ship said, that has like a. Say they kiss. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. I remember right. They kiss. Um, like Picard, like they the the Enterprise kills like a uh, ship that has like a baby, or something like that. I don't know. What? And that's the galaxy's <laughs> child. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Picard should be good at doing that. He's a murderer. <laughs> yeah, he is a murderer. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So I just started watching uh, Deadwood. Yeah, on HBO. I've seen a little bit of that, but not much. Timothy Olyphant, dude. I don't know where. Oh, he was in that, really. He's the main he character. Was, Him I and Ian no McShane. Idea. Him and huh. Ian McShane. And Ian McShane's great. And tell me, uh, Timothy Olyphant. We don't even need to talk about if he's great or not. Right. He's <laughs> he's justified. So yeah, he's justified. He's also Shit, they're shooting a cow zone. Sorry. Is it girl next door okay. or whatever that? Where he's like the pimp from the for the porn star or something like that. Oh that? wow, wow! I didn't yeah. even know that was him. Well, it's and because like, oh, Alisa Cuthbert is super. Yeah. When I was younger, I was like super yeah. attracted to it. Because remember that that shot in old school where she's wearing those pink panties. He's, yeah. It's one when Owen Wilson wakes up with her and she's like mm-hmm. supposedly be in high school and. You know, he, it's their, her, it's his boss's daughter and stuff like that. But she's so attractive, and I and there's this thing called the girl next door. So this porn star moves in randomly to this guy's. Emil Hirsch is the the kid. Remember he was right. in that outdoor movie or whatever. But yeah, so some for some reason a porn star moves in next door to them. You know, mm-hmm. and she's like you know eighteen, nineteen years old. But Timothy Olyphant was back from her old life of being a porn star, but she's 19, so how much of a life did she have as a porn star unless she was doing it before she was fucking 18? But right. long story is short possible. is, he's mm-hmm. crazy because he's always wearing, like, like cool clothes and stuff like that, and he's like basically like a, a pimp almost. So Yeah, I, did, I didn't even know that was him. Now, uh, what's her name, Elisha? Or... Alicia Cuthbert. Alicia, okay. She was, she's in 24, if you remember right. No, I've never seen 24. Um, I didn't really watch a lot of it either, but it's supposedly really good. But it's... <laughs> Sorry, IMDb just knows, even though I didn't watch it. <laughs> I'm glad you have a tie-in somewhere. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but back in the day when that movie came out, now, if you woke up with her in the bed, but you put your hand down and you kind of move around and you realize the bed's kind of soppy and that she just shit like diarrhea the whole no night. Problem. That no bed. problem. It's okay. Just clean up the bed. Tell her it's all right. Well, number. she leans over and she's like, I just want to fuck right now. And you fuck on that diarrhea mattress. <sighs> the smell might get me, though. That's the only thing. I, I don't mind, but it's sure. the smell. But if she has so... a clothespin. Perfect. But That's it... what I was going to suggest that. Just put a mm-hmm. clothespin over my nose. Right, sure. Turns her on. That's fine. She's... It's just if you could get rid of my nose, I'm fine with it. Because I just, I can't. If 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 it, if, it's, if she's into it and she likes the smell of that when she for her perfect i'm fine with that i just don't want to smell it right what if that's her thing though like it's a constant thing she's like i need to shit the bed 
for like I get turned on. Now you're talking about a cost standpoint. I mean, I don't think I could afford having a bed every time I had to find a new bed. It's not like I'm going to sit there and sleep. You can just throw it away. What are you going to have a fucking drain in your bedroom and wash it off? I mean, Jesus. No, you get a rubber line. Oh, well, geez, we're not. I don't know. I shouldn't have like Chipotle the night before. (laughs) You're talking about diarrhea. We're talking about Once again, I don't think we've ever gone without a show without talking about. I mean, this whole. Cat shit, regular shit. <laughs> Jesus. It's a main focus. <laughs> Sorry. I just wanted to bring that scenario into your life. <laughs> I, I'm okay with it as long as I don't have to smell it. Let's put it this way. I'm okay with it, but I just don't think I could... St- I here. Here's my thing. Scientifically, I spoke. I don't think I can maintain an erection smelling shit. Yeah. So if if there's a way, like I said, we love clothespins on this podcast. Let's just use them. We use them in a lot of other things. So, right, it's gonna be hard to breathe out of your mouth though. When I'll do it. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. very attractive. I'll take I'll, I'll take one for the team. Okay. I, I mean, I'm only have to breathe out of my mouth for a while, right? I mean, it's sure. not like we're. Yeah. I mean, it's not like the rest of your day or whatever. Yeah, it's just mean, whatever. However long that lasts, you know, five, ten seconds or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, with her, it probably would. That's it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> She's like, I did all this. I shit the bed. I got close. Man. I get so into this. <laughs> all for 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm like, all right, sorry. <laughs> Clean up. See you later. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you throw a maid's outfit at her. <laughs> hey, yeah, but from a cost standpoint, if that was like a big thing, dude. Sure. You're gonna basically have to do it. You're gonna have to have a bed in the shower and have the bed like be disposable or something. Oh, this this is a good idea, dude. Shower bed. In the shower? Bed. shower bed. Shower bed. Here you we could go. just do you an air mat. You could do an at. You could do an air mattress. You wake like, up yeah. and the alarm goes off and the shower turns on. Oh, you get two things done in one. Oh man, this is perfect, dude. I'm loving this shower Sh- bed. Shower bed. Um, I mean, I would easily do that. I mean, I have no problems. You know that I'm all for sitting in showers because I did have a shower with seats in it. So, yeah, and it had a brush in the middle. It was like a Mr. T haircut. (laughs) Yeah, of course. Yeah, Um, (laughs) I'm all for that. Uh, Sitting, laying, because even when I like tubs, sometimes I'll just sit down, and you can lay down in the shower and just have or in the tub and and have the shower running on you. So. Hey, I, I will vouch. Josh is a soaker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bath guy. Times. I like baths. He's I like soaker, uh, showers. I like everything. I like to be in the water. Scented candles, rose petals. Uh, I do. I used to do that. Um, I, I don't really do the scented candles or anything. I get like a nice cigar. Pens? I get a nice cigar, put a Bluetooth oh, speaker okay. next to you, and a nice book. Because you don't really yeah. want to mess with your phone because if it right. drops in, you can get electrocuted. Sure. Because um, a girl died not too long ago messing with her phone in the bath. Really? Uh, yeah. No, so you don't really want to do that, especially with the older phones, pro- the older phones, but the newer phones that we have now, like my phone right now uses that USB-C quick charge. There's a lot of electricity in this phone. I mean, yeah. obviously that those uh, Samsung tabs are blowing the fuck up and airplanes and stuff. So they're obviously, oh, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. There's quite a fit. There's quite a bit of electronics going on. Like if you had a flip phone, you could drop it in while you're there and you, you'd be fine. But like <laughs> yeah. the newer phones, like, there's a lot of electricity going on, you know, through the thing. So, kind of mm. want to be careful. Um, well, uh, it's good to know. If I need to, you know, feel like I need to end it, I'll throw it up in the air and just watch it drop down. <laughs> See what happens. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, Hope for the best. I that's what I used to do. I, I used to get a bottle of scotch, um, then like an ice tray or ice, uh, like an ice bucket, and. And a nice glass and a, a cigar and uh, a book and lenses. I'd sit in there for for a long time. And do they make like a floating like bed and breakfast trays that just like float? Well, yeah. So you know, yeah. So I grew up with a, a hot tub. Like we had a hot tub when we were as a kid, and like and you had Castle Grayskull. Rich. Yeah, I, so I'm not rich, but you may think I am. But I'm this is rich. just maybe above, maybe slightly above middle class. Oh, growing up slightly over maybe, but, um, Re-etch. yeah, I mean, I have Castle Grayskull, so, I mean, if that means that, but, uh, I also had a lot of, I had a lot of, but there was yeah, this case. Yeah, hang on, hang on. This is the defining factor. And this is what I usually judge people by, um, how rich they were. 
did you have a turtle sandbox? We actually did. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm talking to the Monopoly man. <laughs> I got Park Place and fucking Boardwalk. Jeez. Roll some dice across. We did it. We didn't have it for a long time, but we had. Yeah, we had one when I was a kid. My my okay. other friend had a huge sandbox, like you know, built by his dad. That was like almost like the size of a room outside in their house. And dude, we used to play with GI Joes and like flooded all the time. It was amazing. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I usually did with the uh, GI Joes. Always brought them to the sandbox. Always tried to make bases and shit for them. <laughs> this is awesome. And then but we'd yeah, be like, we'd like all that. make bases and stuff like that. And he had like, you know, stuff like the ships and stuff that would float and whatnot. And so did I because I had a hot tub. So I had like little things from GI Joes that had, you know, floaty, you know, ships. And I would bring them all together. And then we'd build up our whole base. And then somebody, we'd get the, get the hose out. And then we'd start to flood the sandbox because then. It'd be like, oh my god, everything's falling apart. It's a hurricane, blah blah blah. Natural disasters. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's usually my go-to on how to tell if you've been rich or were a rich you had kid. A sandbox. <laughs> yeah, yeah, turtle sandbox. Uh, all right, go on. Sorry, I don't even know what he's talking about now. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know either. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> oh, well. I interrupted you, but it was a good tangent though. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean. I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed his sandbox. I just, like, we had it for a while, and my sister, it was, like, kind of small, the turtle sandbox we had. I don't know. Sure, it doesn't matter, though. That's, like, it's a lot of plastic that my mom would not buy. No. <laughs> yeah, I, hey, I get that. <laughs> but, um, so we had a hot tub, right? That's, yeah. I remember where I was going. Sure. Okay, so, all right. And we are talking about, like, floaty, like, bed and breast things. Yes, they do. Um, But at the time, yes. you, they really weren't viable, but my dad, the person who wants to basically walk the dog and have an implant in his eyeball so he can watch TV, I mean, that's his new thing. But there's also how he wanted to lay in the hot tub all day long but still be on his computer. So he wanted to have, like, a floaty, like, uh, tray for his uh, laptop. And I go, this is a bad idea. But he was talking about it all the time. And he never <laughs> yeah. did it. But this is also right. the guy that used to put a snorkel on and – um and uh you know like uh, goggles and solve rubik's cubes under the water so <laughs> yeah that's an odd hobby i guess <laughs> he, he just thought it was like more it was more challenging to be underwater to solve the rubik's cube wow that's interesting yeah i mean i'm sure it would be i mean i don't know, if <laughs> I, I don't know how i don't think i, could solve I think he one. thought he was like yeah. he was just in his mind you know playing like he was like james bond you know it's like oh i'm solving i'm gonna disarm the bob with the rubik's cube under the water you know so. It'd be great to throw like a baby shark in there. <laughs> so it really be like, oh fuck! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> he thought it was he, he thought it was hard before. He just flips over on his belly, floats to the top, just boiled because you threw it in a hot tub. So. Yeah, so it just <laughs> dies boiled. immediately. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I really like that. My parents still have that hot tub. It still works too. They just don't they don't mess with it anymore. So yeah, I've never been to your parents' house except for the outside of it. But not inside. I've spent a lot of good good times in that um, that hot tub. And that's been holiday hide. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> We're only halfway through. <laughs> Sorry. And we're just watching this lady. I don't even know what the fuck she's doing. Oh, she's know. married. I just found out that she's married. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not Sabah Jordy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he'll take anything. <laughs> yeah, he'll take anything, but he won't get it because we know that he, he basically he, he, he gets out of this show – of still a virgin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the whole series. Seven <laughs> years. Seven <laughs> years. Seven God, years. Dude, that wow. sucks so much. They're cutting this yeah. thing open. So No, it's, it's a calzone. Dude, they're doing a C section, dude. It's a fucking calzone. God, I what got is so it? excited. <laughs> it's a fucking calzone. Huh? Is bacon gonna cut bacon and pepperoni gonna come oh, out? God. Of this? <laughs> Marinara. What's your favorite calzone from? Oh, Do you like cal- he- I do, but like I really haven't had that many. I make a good one actually myself. Shamwaga um, syrup. Jesus Christ! Look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a calzone. <laughs> it's a calzone baby. No, so um, yeah, I make my own, and I use puff pastry actually. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I use puff pastry, and then I, I, I actually have the stuff, and I pre- <laughs> sat. Sadly enough, it's. I'm actually making – I might make one today or tomorrow, but I've prepped the bacon, the sausage, the pepperoni, the cheese, and obviously I use pommy, as we know, pommy. Sure, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So I use it in a puff pastry, and I make a pretty good one. Um, I enjoy it, and you know, you just get the it, the puff pastry I buy is organic, and it's um, you know, it's a it's just basically a rectangle, and then I'll just basically, you know, make a make a a right triangle out of it, but then cut it into the circle or the half circle, and like put the fork markings on the side so it looks nice, and then sure. cut three little yeah. things in there. And yeah, I use I usually use uh, sausage, bacon, and pepperoni, and uh, mozzarella fresh. Good mozzarella, not you know the garbage, and then pommy. Fresh pom- mozzarella and pommy, you know pommy. Pommy, oh. So that's usually what I do for a uh, uh, calzone. But I- I'm really big in a, and something I haven't do is a sausage roll. And uh, th- yeah. there's a place out by yeah, you. Yeah, those are good. Oh Ziffle, yeah, Ziffles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really good. I think the best probably is Lake Off. That's by me. I don't know if you ever had that while you're no you're... never. No, really, they're they're there. known only for that. That's what they're known for. Wow! Like they've got the best ones. All right, next time you come in, we'll get go. Like it's sauce. pretty close. It's right down the street from you, right? Yeah, I mean, it's not, not too really. far. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. All right, let's go. God, I just kind of, I just kind of um, mapped out really down to a radius, um, where you live. Oh yeah, sure, no problem. If you need to look at my windows, I'm here. <laughs> Easy. You're, you're cleaning them up from coming on them, remember? So. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Show well, starts at 4.30. 4.30, yeah, sure. <laughs> Give or take. Buy a ticket. It's $2. Not a big deal. <laughs> not <bucks>. a big. <laughs> it's two fucking dollars. <laughs> it's not a lot. Yeah. Enjoy so... yourself. I can get <laughs> yeah. two cheeseburgers from McDonald's. So, Beck, I'll make a condiment for your popcorn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Extra salt, please. <laughs> mm. uh, I got some really good organic potato chips. Uh, I forget the company that made them. And then I put extra pink Himalayan salt on it. Uh, oh, I, what, can't, man, I, I can't. So... I cannot eat pink Himalayan salt. You know why not? You don't like it? No, it burns my throat. It literally really? starts. Yeah, it starts making my throat burn and itch. It's weird. I really enjoy it, but I actually kosher kosher salt. The coarseness of it is probably my favorite salt. Um, yeah, for using other stuff, but um, and sea salt's okay, but it has a it, it's a little different than regular salt. Um, I I like sea salt. I'm fine with that, but Himalayan salt, man, I don't know. What, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Every time I've had it, my throat starts itching and like feeling like it's closing up. It's fucking weird. Oh, I guess you just can't go to the Himalayan. <laughs> have to take yeah. that. We we'll have to take that off of our our, our trip list. Oh yeah, our holodeck hype tour. <laughs> Uh, we go to the Himalayas. Himalayas is our our first stop. We have sure. just like little shirts, and like we even get like North Face, like get North Face like uh, things, and we have the, our our thing on the back of them. Oh yeah, but you you know you have to have nipple windows in them. Well, yeah, I need to keep yeah, my I... clothespins on there. <laughs> exactly. God, you finished my sentence. <laughs> this is made to be. <laughs> God, we need to go. I, I don't care if you don't like uh, Himalayan salt. You don't have to eat it when we're there. <laughs> no. <laughs> like it but... even cut. Does it really even come from there? I doubt it. I probably not. Probably comes from some, some fucking old person's toilet that they scrape up. Yeah, probably. Some salt deposit. That nasty salt deposit from their yeah. from their fucking old people pee that's chunky yeah, and stuff. That old pee that keeps fucking clinging on like barnacles <laughs> god if you leave pee in there and you leave it in overnight and sometimes and it's just like oh, and you leave something you can you can get pissed it could become fucking solid almost oh yeah if you over you know if you follow that brown flush it down if it's yellow let it simmer rule then uh yeah, yeah. well i mean having people in your family that aren't from another country or that are from another country like that's kind of that's almost kind of a rule where places was like conserve water you know? Right, sure. Yeah. So I've seen some things in a toilet. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> like, how many hands are we talking about? Are we going one off. hand or are we going two hands? Uh, two hands? What are, what are you talking about? We're counting on one hand or are we counting on two oh, hands? Oh, more than, more than two. Wow, we're going to feet here. All right. <laughs> going both feet? Probably past feet. Probably past oh, feet. Oh, whoa. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. This is a whole new topic. <laughs> I mean, not really. You're just talking about you're just talking piss solidifying and stuff like that. Oh, uh, okay. Like it's a thick broth or something. Yeah, you got a thick broth. 
Because, you know, if you leave it in there long enough, there'll be a film that comes over the top of it. So then if you pee on top of it, or even if you mm-hmm. flush the toilet, it'll, like, it's like you put, like, saran wrap on top of it, and you'll see it spin down the toilet when you flush it. Ew, God. Yeah, it's gross. <laughs> you sure there's not been loads on top of that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just saying, you never know, you know. I I, mean. I know. If you're going to make a cake, you might as well decorate it. You know you're, what I'm hey, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <coughs> oh, man. So he's striked out with her how many times? They should just, like, ma- yeah, if we ever had the hard R Star Trek that we want. <laughs> hard R. <laughs> like, fucking Jordy would be like, let's go fuck. <laughs> yeah, and he'd be like, let's go fuck. And she'd be like, no, I don't like you. You're blind. See ya. It's the end of it. That, that, that dignifies a hard R. We've been waiting for that moment. <laughs> well, I've been waiting for a lot of these things because you think about these episodes and how much it's just like my whole thing is, is I'm really in for adult adult entertainment, like not like straight up, right. just always like you know, triple X. Yeah, I'm not talking about that adult entertainment. I'm just talking <laughs> about fucking just yeah. You're talking about fucking like. Literally, when you're at work, I don't know how your work is or how anybody else's is, but I, I've had worked for a couple different companies, had my own, obviously. And um, so it's, it's like we never talk without cuss words. I don't know. I always – everybody I'm right, always sure. around. Any, any cuss you know. words. Yeah, sure. There's fucking – you know, life is life. At least at work, you, you, you're not going to make stuff sexual. But outside of work, you know, if you're telling a story about life's – like, right. You're going to have yeah. sexual things. You're going to have life, you know, and this is Star Trek. People are living. There's kids here. There's things. So, I right. mean, obviously, they're, they can go to the kid stuff because obviously Alexander's around, you know, and there's other episodes with kids. <laughs> but they don't fucking right. do any of the stuff that's like, you know, tab. Not, and it, especially this is 1991. Right. They're not going to put tab- that stuff on there. Yeah. But, like, they really should if they made the new Star Trek. But, see, it's going to be on CBS. It just needs to be HBO. It needs to be a fucking HBO show. Uh, yeah, I I agree. It would be great if it was, but from what I read, they said they're gonna add way more like sexuality to Star Trek for this one. So I think it's well, gonna I be mean, a and it doesn't. It's not sexuality, more. but like even if it, if it is violence, which I know Star Trek world we're not trying to, but if you think about it, we're always blowing something up, fucking up with it in one of these shows almost like every time. Right. So I mean, sure. if you're gonna get violent, just make it violent, like. Right. And make it real, right? I mean, yeah, make it like war where people are losing land. If that's what's going to happen, know. you know, then make it real instead of baby shit. You know? Yeah. And I know the whole thing, especially like Picard and the vast differences between Kirk and Picard, how Picard always tries to do diplomacy. But in the end, there's still a lot of fucking blowing up shit in the next generation. Oh, yeah, they're still fighting ships. They're still, you know. <laughs> I mean, but, yeah. you know, and Riker's Kirk still would rather just aliens. rather do a fucking, you know. A fake punch and start getting a fist fight with everybody, which is great too, and I love it. But yes. um, mm-hmm. yeah, I agree. I just wish they'd make it a fucking H- HBO show, man. You want a hard R space battle scene? You want like a Game of Thrones level? Yeah, like when they board the fucking show. ship, and there's actually like you got to cling on with a bat lift. He fucking cuts somebody's head off, you know? Yeah, sure. Oh yeah. And then afterwards, there's like celebration and whatever and there's you see you know the follow the characters and they fuck and it's 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 Drinking real blood wine yeah. um yeah it's real yeah and, sure. you know they, it's just they can't they have to make this for ba- everything about this is like for babies you know yeah oh yeah it's child child territory gotta have a rattle and blankie well i mean <laughs> God, look this thing is like a succubus it's just oh, sitting yeah. on it. calzone on the ship <laughs> <laughs> Well, if I'm sausage. hungry, go outside with your <laughs> with your space boots and cut it up. It's a sausage and pepperoni, my favorite. <laughs> I wonder if it has green peppers in it. <laughs> Sometimes they get soggy, but <laughs> it's okay. They better be fresh. I like the funky mushrooms in there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, you know, he's always doing psychedelic drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how could he command a ship? Uh, he's like he's so, so he, dude, shit. he's so experienced. He <laughs> just knows what he's doing. That well that's why he's doing all this. That's why he's, you know, he's <laughs> people think he's crazy and they gave him the ship, remember? We speculated oh, yeah, sure. that he, they yeah. just gave him the ship to let him go away. 
<laughs> yeah, they're like, you guys deal with this. <laughs> Go out on your voyage. <laughs> you don't know who this murder is. <laughs> We've got to get him out just of here. Just basically all the stuff they have to do. And, like, on the viewer, he's just, like, making up and drawing on a sheet. And he's like, oh, there's a spaceship out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it hasn't even ever left dock. They're just sitting yeah. there. <laughs> Everything's a monitor. dream. It's just, it's all simulation, but everyone thinks it's real. How would you not know, though? I mean, because you go to the holodeck and everything seems so fucking real. Like, yeah, you could just do it in a holodeck, right? Right, yeah. You, you don't even, even need know. a real ship. But this is, what the, this is a complete mind fuck. Well, you could have yeah. a holodeck in a holodeck, technically, I guess. But, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, dude, hey, wow. mind blown, dude. Like, yeah, holodeck in <laughs> a holodeck, wow. Mm. So you could have a holodeck where people would think they're actually in a ship and doing stuff, and then they have a holodeck in the ship, and they go to the holodeck. Yeah, wow. Mind blown. Yeah, I'll just put the show notes the picture of that of Tim and Eric, or it's it's uh, Eric where his he just is like this and he's using his head and they just have fireworks going off. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's all like a space scene in behind. Yeah. behind him. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's great, great picture. <laughs> I think it was mind blown for sure. <laughs> it's like the only thing I think of when I think of mind blown. Holodeck yeah. and holodeck. <laughs> God. Where does it end? Calzone and Calzone. <laughs> God, you could have a holodeck and a holodeck and a holodeck. What are you now, talking what about? You opened up, uh, what if Shaluba's had a Calzone and a Calzone? <laughs> you cut it and it opened up and then there was another Calzone and there a baby Calzone. Perfect. My man. <laughs> but he's, hang on. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know the preface. Uh, yeah, okay, so maybe I'm not. Sorry. The preface is everything from Shaluba's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> and maybe we could sell these shirts. Saluba's <laughs> Pizza. I don't know. <laughs> Holodeck hype on the back. Popping pizza bubbles. Since... You can't use his name. You'd sue us so quick. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Popping pizza bubbles since 2017. It would be so great if he embraced it, and then there was actually his picture. We get his picture on the. <laughs> we put that mural like on the shirt, and then our th- our thing. He'd be like, Tony Shaloub totally gets behind this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and he's, like, he opens one, it's, like, multi-million dollar, like, establishment. He's, like, all about, like, getting that, making the dick size, like, super perfect, like, right where it needs to be. It's because I want it to be anatomically yeah. correct, guys. Yeah, you don't want to be too frightening, but you don't want to be too underwhelming. So, yeah, you got to have perfect. <laughs> I'm all have... about this. I think we should contact Tony Shalhoub. Yeah, we could write his management. <laughs> Hey, we got a proposition. You're listening to this and tell us what you think. Yeah, great. <laughs> You'd be like, all right. I think the I, cops would be called. <laughs> I don't think you guys. I know where you live. You live close <laughs> to fucking uh, Lake Offs Pizza or whatever Lake, it is. Lake Offs and, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, whatever. Doesn't Perfect. Me. Yeah, he's getting in an argument with this uh, chick because she found out he made a holodeck of her and try to fuck her <laughs> basically which i mean i'd be weirded out too like what if you walked in on someone who made a program to fuck you but didn't fuck you like didn't want to fuck you well you if know? you if you found a program of i mean i guess it's the ultimate form of flattery but yeah sure it's a lot of flattery <laughs> that's weird like they didn't come to you and be like hey i have these feelings you know instead i'm just gonna make a program Right, and I'm going to do terrible things to this program. I bet you Jordy's into some weird shit. Oh, yeah. We can't see. He can't really see, so you know he has to, it's all about feeling. Or, like, heat sensitivity. Smelling. Like, yeah. He fucks in a dishwasher that's been, like, just done, so all the heat and steam likes to put their head in there. Oh, God. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I get you the know? steam part, but then he's putting some right. of his head in the he dishwasher. Puts her face in there, and like he likes him to have to have it like burned a little bit. Oh, geez. he's, a, he's, <laughs> he's into fucking... weird shit. So he's I'm a monster. So he's a monster. He's, he's a monster. Okay, <laughs> All right, he's a monster. <laughs> he's burning someone's face, right? <laughs> well, maybe he likes to fuck Freddy Krueger. I don't know. Oh God! Well, who doesn't? <laughs> yeah, it's a 13 somewhere. <laughs> oh, God, barbecue spare rib body. Mm-hmm. It's always a nightmare. I kind of want to watch that. For, I kind of thought about watching. Um, I don't know. That's the whole thing is do you watch the first one or you watch Dream Warriors? And I, I'm always partial to watching Dream Warriors. 
Yeah, nightmare when you go deep into nightmare, you just get you know three is always where you want to start. Two should be thrown away and discarded. I've I don't remember it even, but then this fourth one is the one with the pizzas, right? I remember that the pizzas. Uh, the fourth is pretty it. fucking good, man. He got a bike that turns into Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And covers a guy into like some fucking weird like anime crazy shit. And also the the pizzas, um, yeah, the sausage, people screaming, sausages, yeah, for sausage phases. phases. I love and it. He also he also turns people into roaches. He lives in puts them yeah, in a Yeah, I remember cell. that. Yeah, I mean, there's some good shit in that one, um, for sure. You know, five's not terrible, but it's more like insane asylum one. Yeah, and I don't mind that one either. No, but I mean, three isn't is that a... the one where they make the 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 drug? Yeah, yeah, the, mm-hmm. yeah okay, yeah. Yep. They're just trying to put piece it all together. I mean, yeah. this is your this is your wheelhouse. Not if you want to ask me questions about Friday the Thirteenth, go ahead. Sure, and I've seen those. <laughs> not probably as much as you, but I have seen those many times. I've seen I've seen all of them. If you put I've seen the first one a lot, and then that Dream Warriors obviously more than any, any of them times. Like you know, two. I mean, I fell asleep into it at your house before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which you know entails. Uh, trail mix and a cry room. Yeah, so um, like, somebody feeding me trail mix. So I'm sloppy <laughs> on wild turkey. And you had like a hamster, like water thing <laughs> over you to drip into your mouth. <laughs> yeah, you need to keep me hydrated because I might die. Oh yeah, <laughs> got on a wheel <laughs> at some point. <laughs> no, and, and which is weird for me. I mean, most people will say, and I, I don't know if that's consensus, but you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, the third one for me. I think you and some of the people that we know um, is the ultimate one, but I it's got to be man. I know that for first Friday one's the 13th, like I, you know, eight for me is the best one, which is weird because eight is that Freddy vs Jason? That's Freddy no, vs Jason, uh, or whatever Manhattan Freddy. Oh, or, if or, Manhattan is uh six, I think is it six? Okay, sorry, I think so. Uh, I see. Here's the thing: is there's there's so many more than Freddy's than Freddy. Yeah, yeah. Players, so that yeah. I get lost. I thought it was eight because ten is space. So, and then Carrie. Yeah, you're right. Eight because then the Carrie yeah. one is nine. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah. I'm. I like that one, but the fourth one at the Feld Doggy. That's my favorite. Chris McGlover's yeah. in there. Yeah, that's my top second one for sure. Feld Doggy. And then it goes number two because that's like. And and I like the first one, and I know that's it's also kind of like, for, for, or the, the Nightmare on Elm Street. It's like the first one's amazing, but it's like yeah. those two are like super good horror movies. That's one that you could right. you, you show your family and be like, "Ooh, that's crazy." Yeah, like the other ones are just like, you know, they're be above and beyond. They're good for us, but like most people would be like, "This is stupid." Yeah, sure. But those first, the first ones are like, and, and and that's also why I don't like it. It's Jason without Jason. It's his mom, right? Yeah, it's still it's still amazing, but it's not really. It's yeah, it's not, not really, really him. Sure. So I don't I don't even put that. I'd go like four. I even like Jason goes to hell before that one. I mean, eh, you know, <laughs> I like a lot of them. I even like Boy. the 3D one. I mean, I I, it, I like all of them, but it's like Jason without Jason. It's like I'd rather have Jason. He's than his mom, you know. So. Yeah, just like uh, washing your balls on the stream or washing your balls in a bathtub. What? And that's been Holodeck Hype. Another episode in the bag. Head over to holodeckhype.podbean.com to check out all of our episodes. Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash holodeckhype. Follow us on Twitter at holodeckhype. Email us at holodeckhype at gmail.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.